This recipe literally comes from three generations of women in my family. My mother, my Don't grandmother had it? super, a bunch of sisters, <laughs> my great grandmother. And so this is a foundation, right? But I, I amped it up a little bit over the years, but this is something I grew up on. It smells great, and I, it, I never get it out of my head. So mm -hmm. we'll start with some chicken. I like it room temperature, yep. right? We don't want to kill the oil. So I have some breast here. First of all, all these seasons are the basic same seasons that my grandparents, my mother used to use, except for sazoon. But everything else is here. There's salt, the black pepper, the white pepper, the onion powder. Oh, yes. We have an array of beautiful Look spices. At that. Look at that. Look at all Paprika, that. Paprika, cumin, oh. a little bit of ginger. That ginger, ginger. I love that. It gives right? a little snap. Dry mustard. Absolutely, dry mustard. Yes, it gives dry it definitely mustard a snap. and ginger together. Oh, I'm yes, so with you. Yes. I don't brine my chicken. I don't use a brine. You just get it in there. Yeah, buttermilk was a little expensive back in the day, so I don't uh -huh. think my grandmother was like using buttermilk to throw it away in the garbage. So <laughs> here we go. So it's all about the batter for us at Big Shakes. So we're going to add a little water inside the bowl. We're going to make a batter, right? So we got all those ter terrific right, seasonings right, right. in there. Take about a cup. Oh, that's so clever. Maybe a little bit more. Then we're going to mix this up to it's nice and smooth. If you oh, need that's to add, so clever. So you can make a base and have a whole bunch absolutely. of it. Absolutely. Oh, I love that. If you need it, because listen. A lot of times, a lot so of times, clever. as soon as you throw that chicken in the grease, your flour's going to fall right off, right? Right. So you have all your seasonings right here in this batter. Oh. And it's automatically going to have all the Dang, seasons in there. Look at that. I love this See method. So we're going to get some pieces it's in there. It's so brilliant. So brilliant. Now, love. for my oil, I know a lot of people like to cook on 350. I try to take it down a notch. I don't want to overcook my chicken. I like yeah. soft, I like juicy chicken, but I want the outside to be crispy as well. These are all great tips. So this I is love. Huge. This is big. I love a temperature at 335. It's like that perfect temperature perfect. where the outside is going to get crispy, the inside is still going to remain nice and juicy and tender. So you want to put the big pieces in the first because they're going to cook the longest. They're going to take the longest. Oh, look at that nice, gentle yes. bubble. Yes. It's like, yeah, we're hanging out in the hot tub. Yes, tub. yes. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So you want to really want to shake off that chicken, right? Because all this flour that's going to end up in the bottom of that pan is going to start to burn, right? So right. you don't want it to so burn it. shake off Absolutely. your excess. Absolutely. It's going to transfer to the taste of that chicken. You don't want burnt chicken. You don't want that taste. So we got some collard green leaves here. I typically like to cut that stalk out. So we're going to chop these greens up, cook them for about an hour, about a gallon of water or so. Cook them for about an hour so they get cook nice and tender. Yep. Cook them way down, right? If you need to add more water, add more water. So I'll start with smoked turkey wings and collard greens. Yes! There's nothing better. Yes! Those collard greens are going to be yes! so great, so smoky. The meat that's going to fall off the bone of those collard greens is going to be an extra meal for you. Yes, yes, yes. So I want these to cook down. So these are ingredients. Here we go. We got some chicken bouillon, about a half a cup. I have my onion powder, my garlic powder, my white pepper. I got ginger again. And I and got it. some white sugar to go in there. So we're going to dump this right in here. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Smoked, smoked turkey, turkey legs. We eat them year round, not just around the holidays. And I love a smoked turkey leg and soups and stews. Oh, my God. Oh my God. So There's good. nothing like it. The flavor is yes. amazing. Yes. So we're going to cook this for about another hour and a half. Hour and a half. Because these collard greens need to be tender. They need to be smooth. The longer like butter. they set, the better oh, they my goodness. get. Yeah. It's like eating, eating mm. butter. Mm. So here we go. We got some butter to go in there. We'll start simmering down. Some butter. You gotta, you gotta use, we use a lot of butter. A lot of butter. It's never he says enough they butter. they are like butter. No, actually, they are butter. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing better than butter. And so then here we the go. peppers I got and some onions. Diced peppers, some onions. Let that cook down. What I'm telling you, this is the meal in itself. Yes, it meat? is. Flip the bird. Flip that bird. <laughs> Flip that bird. <laughs> And listen, you don't want to overcrowd the, the pan that you're frying in. Yeah, exactly, because you want to take that temp After, down. There you go. Right, exactly. You don't want it to be cold. You want so to let it get going. All the, Should all we show the them down though. here? Yes, what do we got? Yeah, I want to show them the tadas. Show the product. Show the product. Take a Oh, board. my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Look, baby, it's, it's a it's a collar bowl <laughs> made for two. I love it. I love take it. Take one. We'll have a little cheers. I love it. A little collar cheers. Cheers. Mm.